here. Let's do them. All right, we are talking about the DCEU because they just launched a brand new trailer for 2022. And, you know, if you weren't excited about some of these films, you watch this trailer and you will be. Whoever put this trailer, first off, first off, whoever put this trailer together, well done. Uh, impressive. Um, I'm now uh, looking forward to Batman somehow. And I wa- and before, when they, when someone said, oh, it's, oh, it's going to be a three-hour movie, I'm like, ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back on board. I'm and, actually uh, not looking forward to Batman still, but yeah, but I it's maybe I'm I'm more interested now in the other three movies than I was previously. Okay, that's what that did for me. All right. Well, um, I'm here. We go. I'm gonna. Put, hopefully, we don't get just wrecked. Well, just a, don't don't play the whole thing. Just go through pieces of it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is the trailer. So it opens with Batman, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. And the Catwoman. Cat which, you know, yep. at first I was like, I don't like this new Catwoman because I was seeing like seeing like pictures. Then I saw her live here, and I think she looks great. Black Adam. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to finally see some Black Adam. That Dwayne the Rock Johnson looking good as Black Adam. My God, dude's always looking good. Okay. He showed some origin story there of him. Yeah. Story. Yeah. Me- I was actually worried about him with the with the hood because I'm like, is it gonna look cheesy with him with the hood? Yeah. I don't don't know if the Rock has the ability to look cheesy. <laughs> That's not possible. You know what I mean? Like if right. you put if you put him in a butterfly costume, no, you know, the Rock did a movie where he played the fairy godmother and still yes. somehow looked more masculine than I look. It's a good movie, by the way. Yeah. Oh, see, and that's great, you guys. This is the Flash origin. He's that's his mom. So he yeah. does. He goes back in time. He sure does. That's his mom's house. So he goes back in time to save his mom. This is the this is the actual Flashpoint. It's we're getting it. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, that was I knew you were gonna get a kick out of that. I've been thinking about this since I was like like eleven years old. Yeah, this is cool. How cool of a movie would make, you know? Yeah. And Ezra's gonna do fine. Oh, Jason Momoa, look at that. Can we, can we pause this stream for a minute? Or? Yeah, no, you already did. You got control of it. All right. I like him better there in the chair with the gold. Oh, see? Pattinson's looking pretty good, man. You know what? I'm not going to... I can't judge it until it until I see it. I mean, look, he looks pretty good. We're going we're gonna to immediately rank all Batman as soon as the movie launches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. No, yeah, we're going to have a 20-minute video about that. Yeah. Oh, see, I love this when they put the characters in the DC uh, logo like that for just like uh, a brief second. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to. Cool. Oh, it's hard to see. It's hard to get it. No, I see it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, oh, that's the. This guy really is. This guy related to Brendan Fraser. He looks so much like Brendan Fraser. I don't know. We don't talk about Brendan Fraser anymore. We should talk about him more often. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple things about him. Yeah, it looks good, man. See, she looks really good. She looks like Catwoman from the comic books. Yeah, yeah, Catwoman from the comic books. She looks like... Oh, look at that, bro! What is this? What is this, Hawkman? What? I don't know. How did I miss this before? Is he uh, Is he going to be in the Black Adam movie? It looks... I mean, whoever that's... That, that is the Black Adam movie, right? Right there? That is Hawkman, bro. He is famous for being one of those really cool characters that really don't have anything uh, very much of value to offer. <laughs> to offer. Like, kind of like Aquaman. He's, yeah, he's a guy who... Oh, there you go. Yeah. He, he can fly with wings. He has like He's like a hawk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he has this, like, he has this hammer that's made out of like this alien end metal that allows him uh, to be like formidable. But without that hammer, is, he's just a regular dude with some fragile wings. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the X X Men character, the angel character. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what it's that like. That wings, yeah. cool, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, this is Black Adam. Yeah, he's from like ancient Egypt. And you know what's crazy is the Hawkman series um is this almost like the Stargate thing where like the aliens came down and ruled uh Egypt um and used their technology sort of similar to Stargate, but to to, to enslave humans. That's cool. Oh, do this Adam. That's the Adam. The guy that grows real big. Yeah. Awesome. I, love, I can't wait to see that character. 
I used to love that one. Are you in? Yes. Yes, I'm in. You're in. Hey, where, where did, doesn't um, Michael Keaton speak in here? I don't know if he's in the trailer, but he's definitely in the flash. The hero. Just... Hold up. We don't stand up, no one will. Come with us. It's a glorious world out there. Waiting for you. Oh, man. Um, Michael Keaton does speak in this. And I can't remember. Oh, here. I'm not going to be able to find it without getting copyright struck here. But yeah. Um, it says the Flash actually delves deep in this idea as Keaton's Batman mentions in the trailer. So Keaton's Batman. Do you hear what I just said? I know. It's very That's one of the reasons I want to watch the Flash. Michael Keaton's Batman. I know. From the back. 80s. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, the older version. Yep. Bro. Amazing is that? I know. I mean, I mean, if we hadn't been talking about it for a year, I guess it would be super amazing. I know, but talking about it and actually it being confirmed in a trailer is like two different things to me. I mean, I guess. I mean, it was kind of like the, all three Spider Men being in the same movie. Still, it, it like I even even though I knew that was going to happen when it happened, I was like a a, a school kid. I was like, oh, <laughs> That's, oh my god. I was less, I was, I was less, I mean, I, I would have been more of a school kid had I not known. And unfortunately in this day and age, you just can't, you can't hide it. But we knew Michael Keaton was going to be in this movie as bad. I almost wish that we didn't have this gig and you didn't know. Yeah. Because you would have gotten such a kick out of yeah. seeing Tobey Maguire slowly turn around and mm -hmm. walk through that portal. Oh. Oh, it would have been oh my God. Because even knowing, I was yeah. like so stoked. Yeah. Imagine had you not, had you gotten there and it was like, that's why, you oh know. Oh my God. There's certain people who should probably be thrashed for that. Yes. Certain person probably. The fact that this article says the fact that they're bringing Keaton as bat back as Batman can entice older fans of the Dark Knight. Y yes. <laughs> yes. Sure it's can. not can will entice older fans <laughs> right so let's so let's talk about these movies coming out so batman will be out on march 4th we're, we're literally talking about less than a month <laughs> for the batman yes it's coming Woo! and then we've got uh if you're interested in it dc league of super pets may 20th don't care uh <laughs> right the kids may like it shazam oh no sorry wrong one uh, Black Adam coming out July 29th. Oh, yeah, boy! Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, the Flash coming out November 4th. And finally, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom December 16th. Woo! That is action packed 2022. And of course, they listed Shazam Fury of the Gods here, but it's not coming out till June 2023. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that will actually end up being the last of, the, of this DC slate. Like, there shouldn't be any more after that, right? Right. They're, they'll do whatever the heck craziness they're going to do. I mean, they're going to do other stuff, but this will be like Shazam Fury of the Gods will be the last, as far as we know, it'll be the last movie set in this universe. Okay. So last one, the last movie set in the universe for Henry Cavill Superman. So, Without ever getting any more Henry Cavill Superman. Yeah. Yeah. We'll never get any more. I don't think. Yeah. Ah, I hate that. I don't it's know so about. stupid. He is one. He, he, ah. he, he is such Why? a good Superman. It's so it's crazy. You have this you have this actor who is perfect in this role. A role that is so incredibly hard to fill. Like it is. How many actors have they screen tested and 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 never went with? Uh, Nicolas Cage, Brandon Ruth. I like the actor, but he was horrible, you know, not horrible. He didn't work as Superman. No. So many people have tried to do it. Henry Cavill is literally perfect in that role. And you're gonna let a disagreement over how much back end he should be getting stop you from having Cavill as Superman. Yeah, I mean, why can't <clears throat> Warner Brothers just make a fridge and less, a smidge and tiny bit less, a tiny bit less, so for his for history to be correct? And, and, and <laughs> as much as much garbage as we talk on Disney, look, man. When when we when we needed Iron Man back, 
they backed that money truck up. There was no, there, there was no, there was no check they didn't write to make that happen. Because they understand the big picture. I mean, Warner Brothers. I mean, we we are constantly trashing Warner Brothers. They don't deserve to have DC. They don't. Frankly speaking, they don't. But Disney can't have it. So why not? Just give it all to (laughs) everything in the end, anyways. Whatever. It's going to end up being theirs, anyways. Yeah, they'll Um, just eventually have it. No, I mean, if anything, I would I would like Universal to have DC. I don't know, man. I don't know. Universal makes me nervous too. I mean, they don't have enough movie franchises, granted, but but the le- but and, a shot. and the ones they have, they continue for a long time now. That is true. That is true. The they rain, continue. sleet, and shine. They keep those 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 little franchises going. All right, Universal, get out there and buy DC. Come on. All right, all right. We're moving on. Let us know what you guys think below.